Alright you beautiful peoples of the internet, Glyn here and this is Cheapskate Gaming News and Tech Reviews and it turns out, I don't know if any of you watched my uh, hard drive, SSD hard drive, NVMe hard drive install but when I did it I came across what I thought was an issue and a problem and something that confused me. So it turns out I was right when I did say that I think it's leaving pieces of data within the console storage hard drive. Now this can be a problem. So it turns out I'm going to show the receipts now that one of my viewers um, had sent left me in the comment section as well. Sony were unaware that apparently that the PlayStation 5 was doing this and I remember at the time when I did the video, um, I'll see if I can find the clip, but I thought, well, this could be a big problem in the future because as more and more games get installed on your, it doesn't matter if you put them on your um, extra SSD that you install or to an external hard drive, it's filling up your internal PlayStation 5 hard drive and you can't get rid of those files. Now, it's all right if they're little files, like if, you, if I just show you now on my one, my games and apps you can see there it says 154.2 gigabytes of data now i'll click on it and all we get give it a couple of seconds but all we get i think it's a seven megabyte watchdog file which is fine i don't mind if that stays on there seven megabytes it's neither here nor there but where is the other 154.193 megabytes See, look, nine, oh, it's 9.38 megabytes, right? That, that's fine. I, I, I can understand that it's got to leave a little piece of information there. That one has. But where's the rest of the 150-something gigabytes? Now, thankfully, um, my friend in, in the comment section there, Leo, I think it's Leo. Yes, sorry, Leon. Leon Prez. And I will put the actual link and... Um, the little chat dialogue we had um, I'm just getting permission off him to do that so if he says yes I'll put it there if he doesn't I'll blank out his name anyway so this is going to be a huge problem in the future especially for those of us it's all right if for those of us that have lots of games it's all right if you've only got you know you're one of those guys that just does the call of duties the war zones and maybe the odd fifa and now and again you'll download a playstation plus game and essentially through the lifetime of your playstation you may only have 50 40 or 50 games installed on there but for guys like me and like many others like you some of us rent games some of us like to buy a lot of games in the deals try games out do different content for various games I have literally got hundreds and hundreds of titles from PlayStation Plus that I've been a member of since I think it's 2011 it started. 2011 or 2012 it started. Anyway, PlayStation Plus. So you think of an all, all the PS4 games from 2013 onwards, I've basically added them to my library. Now, I don't have them all installed, but I have a good portion. I mean, I have a four terabyte drive and I think uh, external four terabyte hard drive. And I've got about three and a half gigabytes of that full of PS4 games. I've also, as you saw in my previous video, I've installed uh, a one terabyte SSD for now. I'll probably upgrade to a two terabyte when I can, uh, when they become more affordable. Or even, even, I might even go four terabyte on that one if they become affordable. Um, so yeah, so apparently Sony wasn't even aware of this problem and a lot of the big tech tubers, the ones who do the SSDs, the Austins and all them, the ones who are quick to jump on any problems with um, with PlayStation 5, none of them have, co have come across this or noticed this. They should have come across it. They should have picked up on it as soon as I picked up on it. Because if, if you play your PlayStation and you've got games installed, you should have realised that not all the data was getting pushed over to the uh, external SSD or the internal, what I, you know what I mean, the extra SSD that you install. So apparently Sony are now aware of it, thanks to one of my um, viewers that have got in touch with them. Um, hopefully they may use this video as a, as a reference point. I'm also going to put the links and clips off my original video within this video as well. So a big shout out to Leon there. 
um and this is why i'm making this video so all i'm asking for you uh guys because i'm such a small small tech tuber but if you can share this video to maybe bigger tech tubers so we can get it a little bit more present you know presence um not for me for you guys as in this is a big problem that could explode without anyone really realizing it like you know once you've got hundreds of games on your hard drive and especially for those guys that have just spent big money on a four terabyte internal nvmn se sd and, and are now downloading tons of data to fill that extra ssd up they don't realize they could fill up the internal once that's full you can't actually access that data to delete it apparently there is a fix and the fix is a factory reset of your playstation so and to do that my advice was if that's what you're gonna do turn everything off remove your external playstation uh ssd and your um also if you have a normal external hard drive remove those then do the factory install on on the internal ssd that way you it'll stop you having to re having to re-download all your other data um apparently that's the fix but I still don't know if that's going to be a proper fix because we don't know exactly what data it is that's been stored on the internal SSD. It could be something to do with updates, you know, so that means as soon as you switch your PlayStation back on after a factory reinstall, you could suddenly get a hundred updates that start filling it all back up again and not moving that data to its intended location. So anyway, this is going to be one of these stories that will be a following on story because we need to know exactly what Sony will do about this and are they going to do anything and can they do anything about it? That's that's the big problem. So I don't really want to uh, be a big drama channel or anything, but I do think this is a very important story that needs to be out there and we need to be aware of it as consumers and customers that um, things aren't acting as they should with the internal ssd on the playstation 5 so with that i'm going to do a few cuts and edits to add the other bits in because i'm just re recording the video now but thank you for your view don't forget please share this i don't care if you don't subscribe i don't care if you don't hit the like button but share this information maybe you know someone is a little bit higher up the youtube chain or twitter chain than i am and that would be great okay thank you this is glenn out and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now. That shouldn't be in console storage. None of these, these are, these are. That's weird. Some of the stuff that's coming up on here shouldn't be on the console. It should be in the USB uh, four terabyte drive. Oh, it's content. Ah, uh, right. Okay, so I've actually found out. I was wondering because I've been wondering what all the extra stuff that's on here that was filling up my my console hard drive, and I couldn't work out what the hell it was. And it was it was around about fifty or sixty gigabytes worth of stuff. Well, here it is. There's megabytes of this. The five gigabytes of was Gran Turismo holding stuff. So they're, they're exclusively held within the console. And in fact, we'll go for large to small. I right, see so here's the games. That'd be interesting. That's all the games. Look, that Gran Turismo was taking up five, to, even though it was on my external USB, it was taking up five gigabytes off my console storage. These, yes. Battlefield 5 was taking up one gigabyte. So you have to be careful about what games you install because some of them are taking up, that's taking up, that's where all this stuff was randomly coming from. Oh. It was locked off, so you couldn't actually see it. 
No, it's okay. Right. Do want to not collect items to move? Yes. Hitman three. Watch dogs. Tom Clancy's. Immortal Phoenix. I'm gonna move them all. Three hundred and sixty-eight gigabytes. Move. Yeah. Okay. So let's see how long this takes. Now what I'll probably do is fast forward this. Although I haven't got a timer running, so I'm gonna be able to put one of those time code things up about how long it actually takes. So there we are, it's finished doing that, but there's still a lot of stuff on the console storage. So I'm not sure what's being held on the console storage now. Have a little look back out here. Console storage. Still 148 gigabytes of games and apps. And it's only showing me. Hmm. Weird. What's going on now? I know I've got. See, look, this other 56 gigabytes of other data. Like, where's that come from? I've literally got two, 200 of my gigabytes. Is I mean, this could be soft. This could be internal software, um, user interface, etc. Wish they'd just say that if it was that. But apparently, I've got 148. And when I click on it. I can't move that one. 